Hello, brothers and sisters. This is uh, Christina speaking. I hope you are doing well. And so, I have a message from the Lord. But before I share it, I want to confess that I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God who has come in the flesh on earth and died for our sins and was buried and rose on the third day. Hallelujah. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I hope you are paying attention to what is going on around us, especially in Middle East. Something bigger is about to happen. We are watching for the rapture. The rapture can happen any moment now. Of course, nobody knows the day or the hour except God alone. And this is why the Bible tells us to watch, pray, and be ready every day. And so, um, before I go through the message of today, the Lord wants me to start with Revelation 22, verse 12. And behold, I'm coming quickly, and my reward is with me, to give to everyone according to his work. Brothers and sisters, Jesus is coming. Seek the Lord where he might be found. Time is very, very short. Understand that Jesus is the only way to heaven. There is no other way. John 14, verse 6, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. Brothers and sisters, the Lord wants you each of you to spend more time in prayer and worship in studying his word and in seeking him on a daily basis he desires to have a personal relationship with each of you we must keep our eyes fixed on the lord Jesus Christ alone. Also, the Lord is warning us about the false prophets. We are living in Matthew 24. The Lord said that many false prophets are coming in his name and they are misleading many. And so, he's calling us to be careful. Now, I'm going to share with you my three dreams I had from the Lord a few days ago. Then, I will share with you the message and the scriptures from him to study, pray, and take everything to the Holy Spirit for discernment and understanding of the message. The Lord wants you always, brothers and sisters, to take time to study all these scriptures. He's giving us pray and seek him for discernment and understanding. On January 18, 2024, I had a dream in which I was standing in front of a group of people. And then I heard a voice saying, tell them, do not say you never knew on the day of judgment. Then I heard the word Exodus. At the same time, I saw the number 152, the dream ended. On January 21st, it was in the summertime, a beautiful day. The music was playing outside. Many attended. They were having fun, dancing, singing, drinking, and eating. Because it was a hot day, many wore short pants. Their bodies were showing 
Then I saw two women. They were almost naked. I approached them. Then I asked if they knew that Jesus is coming. One of them looked at me as if she wanted to pay attention to what I was saying, but the other did not even want to hear what I was saying. Then I heard a voice saying, ask them if Jesus came back today. What will he find you doing? The dream ended. On January 22nd, I had another dream in which the Lord showed me people committing sexual immorality with animals, especially dogs. This was disgusting, brothers and sisters. I got sick in heart for two days after having seen these abominations being done to animals. Now I'm going to share with you the message from the Lord. In my first dream, I heard a voice saying, tell them, do not say, you never knew on the day of judgment. Then I heard the word Exodus. Then I saw the number 152. And so the Lord said that the word Exodus means exit and exit or departure. The word exodus means exit or departure. The Lord is warning us about the rapture and the tribulation that are about to happen. And so the Lord wants you brothers and sisters to study the book of Exodus in order to understand this message. The Lord talked about the judgment that is about to happen on the wicked. The Lord said that the people of Israel are about to be moved into the wilderness. This is the tribulation that is coming, brothers and sisters. I hope you take time to study these scriptures. Pray and seek the Lord for discernment and understanding. Now I'm going to talk about the number 152 I saw. While I was praying for the meaning of the number 152, the Holy Spirit led me to Psalm 119, 152. Psalm 119 verse 152, it says, Concerning the testimonies, I have known of that you have founded them forever. Brothers and sisters, actually this is a word of encouragement for all believers. And so, my understanding is that all God's commandments 
our truth and the God's promises will be performed. In order to understand Psalm 119 verse 152, the Lord gave me two other scriptures. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20 For all the promises of God in him are yes and in him amen to the glory of God through us. He also gave me Isaiah 55, verse 11. You can go and read that scripture. And so, brothers and sisters, God is faithful and keeps his promises. Everything that God has said he will do. We must take the word of God very serious. We must believe the word of God. Now I'm going to um, to talk about my second dream, which happened in the summertime. The music was praying. People were having fun, dancing singing, drinking, and eating. Many were almost naked. And so, in order to understand this message, the Lord gave me scripture, Luke 17. Luke 17, and this is about the rapture. Brothers and sisters, I hope you take time to study the whole chapter of Luke 17. I'm going to read only a few verses from verse 26 to 29. And as it was in the days of Noah, so it will be also in the days of the Son of Man. They ate, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark, and the fraud came and destroyed them all. Likewise, as it was also in the days of Lot, they ate, they drank, they bowed, they sold, they planted, they built. But on the day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire, and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Brothers and sisters, the Lord wants you to remember the days of Noah. Only eight people were saved. And also, to remember Lotte's wife. The Lord will come like a thief in the night. And this is going to surprise people, brothers and sisters. Many will be surprised. And this is why in Luke 21, verse 36, it tells us to watch, pray, and be ready in order to escape all things that are going to happen. This is the rapture. Escape means the rapture. Now I'm going to talk about this dream in which the Lord showed me people committing the sin of sexual immorality 
with animals, especially dogs. The Lord wants you to read Genesis 19, and this is about Sodom and Gomorrah. Brothers and sisters, you are going to understand why these two cities were destroyed. They were destroyed because of the sin of sexual immorality. People in Sodom and Gomorrah were committing all kinds of sexual immorality. In Sodom and Gomorrah, remember, brothers and sisters, people tried to rape the angels of God at Lot's house. This is terrible. And so the sin of Sodom was an offense against natural. The fate of Sodom and Gomorrah is used as a warning for those who reject the gospel of Jesus in Matthew chapter 10 verse 15, in Matthew 11 verse 24, and in a second Peter chapter 2 verse 6. The Lord said that the sin of sexual morality has surpassed Sodom and Gomorrah, and this is why the judgment will be worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. I'm going to read a few scriptures. Second Peter chapter 2 verse 6 and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes condemned them to destruction making them an example to those who afterward will live ungodly Jude first verse 7 as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities around them in a similar manner to this, having given themselves over to sexual morality and gone after strength fresh, are set forth as an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Brothers and sisters, are you listening? This is a warning from the Lord before the judgment. The Lord said that the sin of sexual morality is being committed in many churches. The religious leaders are committing these abominations, brothers and sisters. This world has gone so far. Now, many are committing sexual immorality with animals, especially dogs. This is disgusting. I have no words to describe how I feel, brothers and sisters. The Lord is said that the sin of sexual immorality has become for us a normal thing. The sin of sexual immorality is acceptable in this world. 
This is terrible, brothers and sisters. We are seeing men with men, women and women, children under age being raped. Now people are raping the animals. This is terrible. I'm going to read a few scriptures. The Lord gave me. Leviticus 20 verse 15. If a man mates with an animal, he shall surely be put to death, and he shall kill the animal. Lamentation, chapter 4, verse 6. The punishment of the iniquity of the daughter of my people is greater than the punishment of the sin of Sodom, which was overthrown in a moment with no hand to her power. brothers and sisters, there is a reason why the Lord is giving us this terrible warning. Maybe you are doing these things. Maybe you have done these abominations. Maybe you know somebody who is committing this sin. The Lord talked about not just sleeping with men, men and men, women and women, raping children, committing these abominations with animals, but also he talked about those who, who are practicing masturbation, watching porn movies, praying sexual games, those who are committing all kinds of sexual immorality, you must stop and turn to Jesus Christ and repent before it is too late. Repentance means Go and sin no more. Repent and be sober. Now, I'm giving you this message, brothers and sisters. Do not say you never knew on the day of judgment. Please help me to share this message. As I said, maybe your brothers and sisters, your friends, are committing these abominations. Time is very short. If you have not given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, turn to him right now. Receive and accept him as your God and Savior. Believe and repent. Then get baptized of water and spirit. Understand that if you love the Lord Jesus Christ, with all your heart, all your soul, with all your thoughts, you will keep his commandments. Time is very short. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in your Son's name, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Amen.